C of question number one it says, at what time t for 0 to 8 is the greatest number of fish in the lake? And justify your answer. So we know that the max change in the number of fish, so the max change in the number of fish, which we will call a of, X, a of t, which is like the accumulation function, that occurs at, occurs when the, the entry, the rate of entry minus the rate of leaving is equal to zero. Or in other words, when e of t is equal to l of t, the rate is going to be equal to zero. So we can say that we can solve this equation basically 20 plus 15 sine pi t over 6. Let me write that there. Pi t over 6. Is equal to the leaving function which is 4 plus 2 to the power 0.1 t squared and in graphing these two functions we just find the intersection of these two points that and if we work this out on our calculator so I've already graphed these so I'm just going to find the intersection of these two graphs I get 6.2036 Okay, so that's our that's going to be our our solution. Now we can justify this answer by just saying that if the the accumulation, the max accumulation of fish is going to occur when a prime of t is equal to zero, and that's when the e of t equals l of t. Okay, so we've kind of already talked about that. The other way that this could be justified is we could just say that the a of t is our accumulation function and we know that our accumulation function at time t, well we know we, the accumulation at time t is equal to zero. We can actually integrate this accumulation function and at 6.2036 we can calculate the area under the net area or the net accumulation by integrating it's going to be 135.0149 and then at t equals 8 when we test the end other end point we get 80.9199 so we're going to round that to 9200 okay so we can see that that must then be the maximum amount if we're going to use our candidates test and check to see where where we're going to have the maximum in that interval with the maximum accumulation that we can calculate as accumulation function.